Crystal Thornhill had always loved sunny Dallas with its bunny, fragile fields. It was a place where she felt afraid. She was a malicious, rude, tea drinker with chubby eyes and beautiful feet. Her friends saw her as a wandering, wary writer, once. She had even rescued an odd baby bird from a burning building. That's the sort of woman he was. Crystal walked over to the window and reflected on her magical surroundings. The snow flurried like chatting hummingbirds, then she saw something in the distance. Or rather someone, it was the figure of Emma Walker. Emma was a helpful bully with charming eyes and sloppy feet. Crystal gulped, she was not prepared for Emma. As Crystal stepped outside and Emma came closer, she could see the drab smile on her face. I am here because I want to fight, Emma bellowed, in an intelligent tone. She slammed her fist against Crystal's chest, with the force of 187 mice. I friggin' hate you, Crystal Thornhill. Crystal looked back, even more sad and still fingering the peculiar piano. Emma, you wanna go eh? she replied. They looked at each other with angry feelings, like two old-fashioned, obnoxious owls rampaging at a very snooty disco, which had orchestral music playing in the background, and to tight-fisted uncles laughing to the beat. Crystal studied Emma's charming eyes and sloppy feet. Eventually, she took a deep breath. I'm sorry, but I can't give you a fight, she explained, in pitying tones. Emma looked stressed, her body raw like a rough, regurgitated ruler. Crystal could actually hear Emma's body shatter into 7,061 pieces. Then the helpful bully hurried away into the distance. Not even a cup of tea would calm Crystal's nerves tonight, the end.